Another very profound experience for me is uh, on, it happened on a Saturday night at PS86, which is a school that we used to meet um, here in Jamaica, on Parsons Boulevard. And uh, <clears throat> at some point in the evening, he called a group of disciples to come up, sit in front of him and meditate. I was boys, all boys. And to my extreme luck, he called me. And even luckier me, I was sitting right across him, like directly across him. And he starts to give him some specific directions on this particular type of meditation. And um, I started to meditate and his physical body became smaller, compacted, and all around him was this very, very, very intense and powerful light. Uh, so powerful that I would lose sense of being. And um, I uh, would rub my eyes, would take off my glasses, thinking that I'm very tired, that I'm hallucinating this. But the more I tried to bring my consciousness to the normalcy that I was uh, aware of, of my daily living, the more intense and the less I could see of his physical body. I saw so many things. I saw in him uh, the multitude of his beings the the avatars that preceded him, gods and goddesses were coming out of him. And then he brought us down. And I took my seat. Um, I need to correct something. This was not on a Saturday night. This was on a Wednesday night. Wednesday night where we had more official meditation and Saturdays were more relaxed. So comes Saturday evening and he invited uh, for people to ask him questions, any kind of questions, it didn't have to be spiritual, uh, or any kind of questions. And I raised my hand and he called me immediately, <clears throat> but he asked me to stand up right in front of him. So he asked one of the sound guys to bring a microphone in front of him and I would be straight looking at him. And um, my question was, if it was real what I saw. And um, I immediately realized that I was doubting my experience. So I decided to change the question to a question about seekers, about newcomers. And I asked my, start asking my question and it is happening again. Perhaps not at the same intensity, but his body became more and more con compacted and his, his emanations, his light, his, the inner beings and all the things were just coming out of him with a stupendous uh, intensity and speed. And he's answering my question, right? And then I get a thought, oh my God, he's answering both questions. And when he finishes uh, giving me the answer, he says to me, did I answer you two questions? And the people were bewildered, what is he talking about? There's only one question. But that was him. That was who Trichimoy was with me. Uh, and maybe perhaps other disciples, but, but I have no way of knowing that. Um, so um, this was a constant experience 
intimate experience 